just take this tomorrow off, it's okay. You look cool okay. uh, in the south, just introduce yourself about the Cape Coast yeah. Holocaust dungeon. All the sisters ask me when did I arrive from Atlanta, I say I have been here always. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we're now on our way to visit the, the Cape Coast dungeons. And uh, this was, was about the third, the second biggest dungeons or the second castle that the British built. Those of you who will visit Elmina Castle on your own, you will see that there's a vast difference between the Cape Coast dungeons and that of the Elmina dungeons. The reason being that Elmina was built primarily for trade. So the dungeons became warehouses that were converted into dungeons. The British came around 1624 thereof. So that was the height of the slave trade. So whatever they did, the intention was to build the correct dungeon, right dungeon. I think that is the reason why this program is doing Cape Coast Castle. Uh, Cape Coast Dungeon other than being official. It is a tunnel. The male dungeon is a hole. And as you go in down, yes, slanting, no steps, but a little bit, you can be on the sides. Sometimes it could be slippery. There's light, but we try to encourage you to do it as originally as it was. So even though there's light, you may take it down. It's a point they're going to off the light for you to see how uh, dark it is. The male dungeon, once you move down there, you were never seen until you were exiting to take the boat. So it's a tunnel, and they're gonna, I don't want to go into the details as to how the, the life of the enslaved persons. There is also a condemned cell. So, those who would have classified or qualified today as freedom fighters, those who were fighting for their life, those who resisted, were put in this dungeon and this particular cell. You came out dead. In about that when the condemned cells at the Cape Coast Elmina, you came out dead. And uh, Right after slave trade, the dungeon became, it went through other transformation, not physically, but other organizations took over. <laughs> At a point, a portion of it became a prison, a portion of it became an assembly, like a, for the local government. And you will also see one of the halls called McLean, or Palava Hall, called Palava Hall. Palava Hall was when in 1880, uh, 1844, in 1844, when we, the coastal chiefs of Ghana, sold Ghana to the Europeans for 100 years period. However, by 1944, when we were due for independence, we were at war, the world, the world was at, at war. And people were rather concerned about the world war than giving us independence. So it took us 13 more years. So officially, the British had ruled Ghana for 113 years. That's the time we agreed <coughs> for them to do that. The others, it was just by occupation. They occupied exploited human beings when the exploitation of human beings was over the Dutch Danes and the British who were prominent here the Dutch and the Danes left transferred all their possessions to the British and the British started that was when they started the colonial period colonial rule started from 1844 to 1957 113 years. 
the most prominent persons. The last one is a high profile visitor, but I don't think that's prominent. First Lady 45 was the very last person to visit here. You know First Lady 45? Yeah, we know that thing. Okay. <laughs> but 44 persons remain as the most high profile personnel, President Obama and Michelle Obama were there. To me, are the very last prominent people to visit the dungeon exactly on 11th of July, 2009. Uh, besides that, Boris Kujo is an actor and some other uh, African-American or African the diaspora came in for the tour of this place. Okay, for the Elmina Castle <coughs> that I can talk of, maybe the, pro the most prominent African-American that had visited it was uh, Will Smith. Uh, that was 2001, yes, 2001. I remember, I don't remember the exact date because I was caught by surprise to conduct Will Smith on a tour. And, uh, the story, me meeting Will Smith was is so, so dramatic to me. That is so yeah. cool. I met him, when I, when I saw him, I had never saw his picture. Oh. Never heard his name. Wow. Never heard anything about him. So on the tour, I realized that any time he turns to right or left or whatever, pictures, the paparazzi was so much. So I asked him, who are you? <laughs> if I'm not exaggerating, I asked him two times. Maybe I asked the third time. The first time, he told me who he was, but I didn't know. I had known Oprah because I watched the show, I known Bill Cosby. The second time, I asked him, who are you? And he said, I'm Will Smith. Then I'm a, and I said, okay, you work with Bill Cosby? He said, no, I'm a rapper, I'm an actor. I'm a... He took his time and explained it to me. But I didn't get him that quite well. When they finished, there were American students, African-Americans in the castle who came for pictures. And I was standing and then this Caucasian girl was digging through the... When he came to me and asked me, did you know the guy you went on tour with? And I said, no. And she said, now you know? And I said, no. <laughs> and she said, that is Will Smith. I nearly sent this girl to the morgue because she was shocked with my remarks. I asked her, but who is Will Smith? Then she walked, she took steps, three steps back, looked me from head to toe, uh, from, from head to toe, and said, he can feel this your castle with you as daughters. So, but I think that when I asked him who he was, it kind of hurt him. Yeah. So there's somebody who doesn't know who I am, but that is it. So here is the El Kepos Castle. We, before, when we get in the very first door to your right, these are washrooms. If anybody wants to use washroom, you can use it. We will all go down to the main courtyard and then we we'll assemble there. We're going to have an exclusive tour. And we're going to spend about one hour, 30 minutes to two hours, depending on your interest. Because this tour, because we just use one castle, it's going to be intense. We want to go deep, 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 deep. And you ask all the questions. Folks, we want to be done by about one o'clock, at most, or uh, one, one, 12.45, so that we can drive back uh, by one o'clock we have lunch and then two o'clock we have the program. Thank you very much.